Hi, my name is Rich Capitan. I'm a science instructor here at the Bureau of Land Management's Campbell Creek Science Center. Today we're going to talk about birds. Uh, it's summertime in Alaska and wow, the daylight, the long hours are amazing. And the, and the bugs, that's why the birds are here. It's great feeding, great nesting, and they've come from all around the globe back to Alaska to spend the summer with us. Now, perhaps you're outside and, oh, there's something right there I don't even recognize. Yeah, maybe there are birds that you don't know, you can't identify them. Well, today we're gonna to talk about tools to help you learn what that bird is. We're gonna start with the five S's. The first is the size. This is uh, a, a bird that you might find in your backyard or front yard, or maybe, gosh, around town. It's a pretty common bird to see. It's called an American Robin, and it's a nice, just kind of bird, medium-sized bird. Basically, use something that you're familiar with to compare with a bird. So, is that bird I see smaller or larger than this bird? All right, size. Now, the shape. The shape of a bird tells you a lot about it. Does it have a long neck? Does it have long legs? So this is a sandhill crane, and the shape of this bird is very different from that American robin. So, shape. The sound, now what's that? Chick-a-dee-dee-dee, chick-a-dee-dee-dee. Oh, that sounds like it's saying its name. black cap chickadee. Maybe you might hear a, oh dear me. Huh? That's a golden crown sparrow. So birds that are singing and calling is a really good identifier to help you learn which birds that bird that is. Now, uh, where am I? I'm in the forest. Uh, maybe you're in your backyard. Maybe you're up in the mountains. Maybe you're on a river. The space that you're in and that you see that bird will also help you kind of identify uh, the bird that you see. Now the shade or the color of a bird will help a lot as well. Uh, did it have patterns on it? Did it have wing stripes? Uh, did it have a very bright color that was noticeable to you? So the shade. Now using those five S's, let's try to identify some bird. Ah, uh, this looks familiar probably. Now that size we talked about, well, it's, that size is about the same size as an American Robin. It's got a very yellow bill or beak. All right, that stands out to me. It has a ring of white around its eye. It's got that buffy kind of rusty color breast. Well, that's an American Robin. Now we talked about shade. That blue really pops out at you. So wow, bright blue bird. Hmm, it's got a crest on its head. It's got some black on it. It's about the same size as a robin. Uh, the space that I'm in, okay, I'm in a, maybe a rainforest uh, here in Alaska, and it's quite a loud bird. Quang, quang, quang. It's a stellar jay. Ah, let's do this bird. This has a special shape. This has a pretty special shape. You may seeing it kind of uh, hug a tree going up, going down. You'll probably be seeing it feeding on insects on the tree. It's got a flash of red on its cap. Uh, the size is accurate here, so not a very large bird. For the shade, it's got lots of those white kind of speckles on it. This is a downy woodpecker. Oh, last but not least, a pretty sizable bird. Pretty chunky, larger bird. Uh, that shade, wow, solid black. Very strong beak. Uh, maybe I'm out fishing and this bird is up above in a tree watching me. Maybe I'm hiking up in the mountains. You might see this bird soaring. It's a pretty identifiable bird with that solid black. It's a common raven. So those are the five S's. Great way to try to identify a bird, but there are other ways to uh, identify birds as well. I like to use a good bird guide. Now there are a lot of different bird guides out there, lots, and they're all different. Some have photos, some have illustrations, some have the bird map. Uh, where you'll find the bird uh, in the back, in the front. It really depends. It's an individual choice that's up to you on what works for you. 
Uh, also, a lot of folks use uh, bird ID apps on their phone, uh, and there are lots to choose from. Another tool that I like to use is a good pair of binoculars. And the first rule of binocular use is always put the strap around your neck as you don't want to drop them. Rule number two, never be looking through your binoculars and walk. This, all, all you're going to look for is trouble. So don't be doing that. But, oh, there's a bird up there. It's pretty far away. I, gosh, I wish I was closer. It's all right. You've got binoculars. Keep your eye on the bird and slowly lift your binoculars up to your eyes, keeping your eyes on the target. That should help you locate the bird. Now, if I see the bird through the binoculars and it's blurry, it, don't worry. You have a focus wheel on the binoculars to help uh, bring that image uh, closer and crisper. Now, if you wear glasses, it's all right. Binoculars come with eye cups that fold down. You just fold them down like this, fold them down like this, and now you're ready to use glasses and binoculars. All right. So I've given you a couple of handy tools on how to identify a bird. It's summertime in Alaska. I definitely get, uh, encourage you to get outside, enjoy nature, try to learn some new birds this summer. And uh, thanks for talking about birds with me. And I hope you get outside and go bird watching.